Today we're going to be looking at Yin Style Bagua Zhang uh, Monkey Posture. And monkey, if you're a Chinese martial arts geek, and I imagine if you're on this video, you, you know about the eight trigrams. The monkey is the Dui trigram, which is the lake. And the idea of the lake, it's like water. It flows to the um, lowest area. We have things like a lion, which is heaven, which is big and expansive. But then um, the Dui trigram is this really contracted uh, idea, like water flowing down the mountain and gathering in a lake. So we have this posture called the enfolding posture, bao shi, which is like this idea of, um, of uh, wrapping and gathering in. But monkey also has the skill of sun chen or the contracted body. Uh, so a lot of its movements and energy is really coming into itself. So like with the upper body, you have um, the fists coming in and, and gathering in with the rolling of the forearms coming in. Uh, but then also with the lower body, um, it's a uh, dun shen or the, the squatting body as well. So we have different uh, positions there coming down uh, all the way down to something like this or, you know, something like this or something. The idea is that you're really um, lowering your height and contracting the body. And we can use these in a, a few different ways. But the main idea is how do we utilize the skill of, um, of contraction in the Dui trigram. And so the monkey system, Yin Style Bagua, it does have lots of other skills, especially foot skills, but today we're gonna to be looking at this uh, contracting body and this unfolding skill. So the posture itself, uh, the representative posture, we do the standing strengthening. Um, so if I was to do it just uh, neutral, it'd be gathered in here. If I was to do it with a lower body, there's a few different postures with the lower body um, that I can use to really develop the, the legs. We also have like a, a moving uh, change here. And then when we walk the circle, um, this is our posture. And it's a relatively small circle, but this is how we walk the, the monkey system. And then we'd have like a simple direction change. Um, we might incorporate the, the sinking of the body with the direction change. So there's a lot of variation in how we use it inside the practice of Bagua Zhang. But we basically have standing, single action movement, turning the circle, and then direction changes. So this rolling in with the forearms and gathering in can be quite useful. So uh, let's just say in like, if you ever did that, something like judo or something with a gi, or if somebody just like, just grabs you or puts hands on you. So if you just put your hands in. Um, so I can attack this joint with, uh, or control my partner or opponent, just with this rolling in quality. So I can bring this in. What's important is I'm not just kind of uh, lazily or whatever, just using a lot of strength. I'm actually using the posture of the rolling in. Uh, it, it rolls the tissues. Like it's almost like a rolling pin that comes in. So if you, you hold nice and strong here, um, and actually in a sense, I'm going with his force because he's like pressing into me. He's got his elbow drop and everything. I just continue that and, and bring it down. So that's a good way to, um, you know, break a grip. Another thing I can do is the same thing, except uh, I have this other arm in here and I can get into like a, almost like figure four, get into a, a um, like a submission, like a wrist lock, something like that. But all I do is um, same exact movement actually um, as getting into the monkey. I just slide this guy in here, get this guy here, break it. And now I have good control right here. And so if I wanted to get into the wrist, you know, get into a wrist, that's definitely like a suck. That sucks, right? Uh, getting in. Um, the other thing, same thing again, is, you know, attacking the shoulder. So more Kimura grip, uh, getting in right there. Obviously, he's got his rear hand. We're not really fighting, but at the same time, if you if you grab and I, and I get a hold of this, it's like um, I've controlled his, um, his spine. All I have to do is just do a little bit of a back step and I can take him down. So that's one idea of using the uh, upper body. We can use the same idea, but also use the, sh uh, the shrinking body. And this is like, you know, as least effort as I can manage really. So if he grabs again and like, huh, um, I can marry him here, but then I can just drop my body to the ground <laughs> and just use the mass or the weight of my own of my own weight. So I'm just borrowing gravity, right? Here we are, which is kind of funny, right? <laughs> 
I'm not, I'm not really doing anything. I'm borrowing the energy of my own body weight. The skill is like having open hips, open knees, ankles, back, so that you can do like uh, an effective squat while staying upright. I'm not, you know, some errors that you see is like, you know, leaning my head or anything like that. All I'm doing is simply dropping uh, quite vertically. And I can do this in a couple different ways. So if you grab on this side, I can also get into um, a back step and then just sink, just sink my, sink my weight. And so it's a little bit of a and a sink. In Bagua, we always love to use circles. So again, on this side. So all I'm doing is bringing it to my body, sink, and I'm just coming back. Also in a grappling context, being able to lower your height is very useful to close distance, right? And this is, this is pretty classic. Um, you know, I might get his attention up here and then be able to sink my height here. So from here I can enter in, do a simple uh, double leg. Also too, you know, if in a striking game, like if he, you know, or self-defense or whatever, um, the fact that I can go from here, you know, to here, you know, as far as um, being able to disrupt the engagement by completely changing my position. Um, and it's not that I'm not mobile, but it is like I've changed it and I can either, you know, get away, I can get off to the side, or I can you know, enter in. And this is pretty well established in, in martial arts going in for shots because you have people who combine boxing and wrestling if you can get get them going and then any number of takedowns you know double legs single legs ankle picks anything like that but the main idea is developing this ability to change my height pretty fluidly and with the an entry and this is again common in, in uh like wrestling and other uh um, grappling sports is this sinking the weight and then rolling forward and, and gaining distance. So, you know, another classic one is getting down here. Then once again, and of course, if you're familiar with wrestling and jujitsu, that would seem pretty familiar. My main point is that with monkey, practicing monkey, with our direction changes and just being comfortable with being down here and having, you know, good awareness, a little hunched over, but having good posture, maintaining my conditions, even down um, in this low area is very useful for martial arts. With the body mechanics, you want to make sure that you maintain your conditions even when you're quite low. Um, so if I come down here and I don't have my conditions and Dusty pushes on me, like, you know, I don't have much strength or integrity. Um, and that's no good. But if I let my body be stretched, have my hips over my shoulders, and he pushes on me, like I can, I have a lot of power here, right? Yeah. And so that way when I go into him, and I'm gonna put my weight into him so he goes into his feet, right? And so when I do that, it's very easy to move him because in, in a way I'm, his feet are stuck to the ground. If I did this in like a really lazy way, right? It's like, you know, it becomes a battle. So maintaining my conditions, I can just into them. Um, but because I have everything coming together, and this is, you know, brings me to another point, take a step forward, is this contracted um, body. So Dr. Shea Pechi, my teacher in Beijing, the late Dr. Shea Pechi, he would shoot in on people and just with this really heavy condensed force. So for him, monkey was like that. He basically drive in and use his, his body mass to take people over. So you can feel how it just, it's like I'm turning myself into a bowling ball. Yeah, like uh, so Dusty just said it was like, uh, my mass is centralized or coming together or compacted like a shot put or something like that, or a, a bowling ball or a, I'm thinking of like a cannonball, right? So step forward. So, all, so what I'm doing, instead of like spreading into him, I'm actually doing the opposite. I'm condensing into myself, but also moving into him. So step forward a little bit. So I can even do this slow. I'm just coming in. Right? And using my body. I don't have to extend myself because I'm inserting my body into his structure. So come forward again. So the same thing is like. Oh. 
So once again, using this contracted quality. So bringing the hands in together, uh, you'll find this in other uh, art where you're really bringing the um, arms in tight. And it has a few different reasons. One, it's good uh, protection, but also bringing the person into you. So, so come on in. Um, so if I get like a little bit of a grip here, like I get an underhook or something, I, I managed to get this. Um, all I need to do is bring it into my body, right? And then from here, I have a lot of control. So it's using this uh, contraction. You know, um, the same thing is uh, uh, any any kind of any kind of uh, contraction. So, even a very basic like getting in and getting this uh, bow sure or this uh, unfolding. Uh, this can be something as simple as getting around and breaking and just dropping, and again compressing and bringing in. So there's different ways to break structure, and this is essentially breaking structure with uh, with contraction and breaking the spine. So if I do it a little bit more slowly, you know. If you've done some martial arts and you realize that you don't want to be in this zone unless you're striking or whatever, you might want to get in close, but then I'm going to get in close and I'm going to break his structure, right? Break his structure. And this is an idea of, of gathering in. And then just little movements really can make a big difference. So I come in and just a little movement like that or a little rotation and you can just let him go or follow him down or whatever you want to do. But once again, contraction so contraction doesn't mean uh, muscular contraction uh, there's an articulation we're maintaining our conditions of having our body stretched and open but we're um, uh, twisting and winding to uh, create contraction right and so there's a big difference between um, me like just pulling in or using you know strength and trying to pull in and then uh, using this rolling action using my tissues and my development and I kind of I in a sense, I grab on, I, I seize his body here. And if I just did that like this, like he's strong, like I can't, I can't really move him. This is, and I, if, I, if I was tense, like just using tension, that's no good. But I can use the, the rolling, the rolling in, and I'm coming into my body, but I'm also uh, rolling in. So, you know, through development and uh, getting these uh, qualities through the standing and the turning and everything else, you can, um, and even if he's being the other thing about this is because it's a circular motion it's, it's kind of difficult to deal with it's like uh, again that rolling pin it's got a rolling force it's not a force just going straight in it's got this rolling quality to it uh, so it becomes like I don't know like like getting stuck in a cog of a wheel or something like that mm -hmm. like you can't touch a wheel and it would just like kind of take you along for the ride so that same idea is um and then that was a little bit different I I came over and rolled and I can get into uh, some other stuff. But anyway, it's this, this rolling contracted uh, quality of the monkey posture in yin style Bagua Zhang. Thanks for watching. My name is Garth Reynolds, founder of Bagua Internal Arts. Uh, like the video, subscribe, uh, visit baguainternalarts.com if you want to learn more. I just love to share what I've learned about Bagua Zhang and other Chinese internal arts. Thanks.